most people make less than 50K, right? It's probably closer to 30 or 40 a year. Now in tech, a lot of times you can make six figures, multiple six figures, but if you're not funneling that money into real estate, uh, side jobs, uh, mm -hmm. renting cars, renting this, uh, selling stuff, whatever you're doing, that money isn't um, serving a real purpose, right? Yeah. So the more money you make, don't get more materialistic stuff. You don't have to get a Benz. You ain't got to get a Porsche. You ain't got to get a Rolex. You ain't got to get this. You ain't got to get that. Try to funnel this money because anybody that's watching this channel, anybody who watches the Women in Linux channel, eventually you're going to be in tech and eventually you're going to be getting a big bag. You just got to make sure that you're funneling that money to the right place. So I'm sorry right. for uh, interrupting, but that was just a key point. No, no, no. And it was the, and, and that, and, and when I, when I got to the company and it's just, people always say, oh no, you're lying about this too. Um, I took the job um, for one of the bigger things was in that job, it, they automatically put 25% into your 401k. That's awesome. Right? It's not, I'm going to match you. It's, I don't care what you do, we putting in 25% automatically of, yeah. of your salary. So if your salary increases, the contribution is going to increase too, right? And then uh, what also was um, your time off. So I, I had got to the point where I was earning like, 45 to 47 hours a month in time off. Mm. And if I didn't use that money, they will roll um, over. They'll roll over and they pay you out um in, in February. So right. So the people who were who who had been there 10, 12 years, come February, they getting checks, 80,000, a hundred thousand. 120,000 after taxes. Yeah. Right. So now they got a whole salary to go do what? Buy some property, put that money into a, 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 a trust, roll that money into some type of annuity where it's going to grow. Oh, annuity. What's that? You say something about an annuity. Oh, okay. What is that? Right. And then I also learned that when we came on, we had, um, we actually had a financial advisor. Wow. That's awesome. Okay. On staff. So I, so, so when, when I would go meet with the financial advisor, they're like, okay, you're making this kind of money. This is what your 401k, 401k is looking like. What are you doing? You're not, you're, this is not making money. We need to re readjust this. We need to do this. Okay. When you get paid here, when you get this, cause this is going to come up, I need for you to go do X, Y, and Z. Right. Right. You need this for tax purposes. You know, this, no, this ain't it. You got this all wrong. So I learned from them and I take what I've learned and say, okay, let's expand this on what I learned. How can, how can I take what I, I learned and expand them? So that's why you see on my shows on Saturdays, well, I talk about wealth. Well, I talk about wealth accumulation and then wealth preservation and estate planning and mm. having um, what is how to make your HSA perform. What are you doing there so that way when you retire, you're not solely dependent on your retirement for your actual health. You have an actual health plan under in inside your retirement that's totally separate. How do right. we how do we move and and pull these things together. So it's it's not for me, Linux going all the way back has brought me from there to here. All right, uh, Tim, let's stop right there. So for somebody that wants to do the same thing as you, right? Mm -hmm. So you went to college, uh, went to Freak Nick. I hope there ain't no <laughs> videos on the internet of you going crazy, but, <laughs> uh, but you uh, end up, um, you know, school didn't work out the first time, you went back to school. Uh, got in the right places, got in the right room, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. What would you tell somebody? What's three things, right? What's three things somebody that don't know nothing? They think that they're computer illiterate. They think that they don't know what's going on. What's three things that you would tell somebody? If you had to give somebody a roadmap, I would first do this and I'll do this and I'll do this that would allow them to win in the next couple of years. What, what do you think people need to do? Uh, three things people need to do to set themselves up for success. The first thing, first thing is first find confidence. Uh, mm. I mm. be on a lot of calls. Mm. That's a good one. Um, say, hold on. Say that one more time. That's a good one. Find some confidence. Uh, 
Yes, ma'am. Uh, and I and I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but when I when I'm talking to people, confidence lacks. Mm -hmm. Even in the interviews, confidence lacks, and is it is it is it is it is not just the confidence in what you're doing is confidence in who you are as a person mm -hmm. and it relates to what you're doing so mm -hmm. if you don't if you're not willing to, to take a chance on yourself why would somebody else right. take a chance take a chance on you go install and go install the operating system screw it up it's okay right mm -hmm. no, know that failure is going it's going to happen you are you, you're trying something new you you probably gonna fail at it it's okay For sure it's if you're okay. not failing, you're not trying. Yeah. So when you when you learn what what you did to 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 fail, write it down. Go mm -hmm. back and try another. Try something else. Okay, I got a little further this time. Mm -hmm. Great. Keep going. That's what I think. Number two is understand, and this is one of the biggest things in tech. In 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 this case. Understand how to read job descriptions, understand what they're offering overall. And also when you're looking at um it's in particular job descriptions and the company, ask to speak to other members of other teams when you get into these interviews, or even if you just just talking to a recruiter, like, hey, is it somebody that I could talk to? Because I'm not really sure if I want to start the interview process or whatnot. Is someone I could talk to? Mm -hmm. Do you have someone that uh, a, a point of contact there that I can speak to? Because I do have some concerns and hear my concerns. Maybe we can get on a Zoom call or, or whatnot. Ask voice your voice your concern. That's, That's real good. That's good. Like like a lot of times we get in these spaces and we look at what the result is, but there's a journey to get to that result. <laughs> God damn, damn! What you got? Hold on. Say that one more time. Yeah, yeah, we look at what the result is, but there's a journey to get to that result. Everybody, please understand that. Please understand that. Tam just told you she's been doing this for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this close to 15. Um, one thing that you should not do is do not compare yourself to Tam or me. This mm -hmm. took a long time for us to get here. And then um, she got one more uh, point to give you guys, but I think uh, the confidence thing she was talking about, a lot of times that comes from competence, right? So doing things, failing, working in teams, learning new skills, yeah. and then you become confident because you know exactly that you know what you're talking about. And then another thing that she hit on is just knowing who you are. Even if your skills aren't as sharp as you would like them to be, mm -hmm. just know that you're willing to work to get there. Um, my bad for interrupting, but I had to. That, <laughs> that, that, that was a good one. Yeah, it's, it, but, but again, um, my my journey um but i was i was in in some cases on my journey i was purposeful about where i wanted to be mm. i knew for me i had a goal um i was like oh i gotta get over six figures i like i just gotta get over six figures and for me it how, wasn't how, how how what am i trying to say how um how likely or how easy or how probable is it would you say uh not that we're not even gonna have no specifics not now, learning, right not now learning. right right now this right now right now right now right now i don't even know how you not making six weeks honestly <laughs> either all right i'm sorry uh, go ahead. <laughs> right now but when i started it was a goal that i had set for myself Mm -hmm. Not because, oh, I see everybody else making six figures. I didn't know what everybody else was making. What I did know is I wanted to be at six figures. That was my goal. It was something I wanted for myself. It was, it was, it was something that I wanted to do because I started out with, I didn't start out with YouTube. There was no YouTube when I started learning Linux. There was there was no mentors. There was no nothing. I, it was I, all you, all you. It was it was it was get this book, you fail, that don't make that don't make sense. Get another book. Try these commands. Oh, you can you make sense that it, 
you explained to me, let me go to these user forms, let me go to these user groups, let me get in here and let me just every single day, let me lab, let me get in here and build and try and try and try. I mean, I've thrown many of books across the room. I, I didn't, I didn't fell out, I didn't fell asleep in chairs on keyboards. Yep. I mean, you know, over and over again to, to become like, you get me in an interview and it's like, oh yeah, it's, you do this, 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 and this. And the reason why you do this is because of X, Y, and Z. This is your result, blah, 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 blah. It's just like, I have a keyboard in front of me and a terminal in front of me, and I'm just going through the commands and I can tell you exactly what you're gonna do and what your results is. I get tunnel vision because I trained myself that way. That's right. And I'm and actually I'm training people in my group that way. Because okay. when you get in interviews, people ask questions and they're looking for particular answers but they're looking how the journey you take to get to that answer and does it make sense and so when we're when we're talking like well set walk me through setting up a cron job that is going to create a backup to our sync to this computer at 3 a.m every morning and then when you get finished with that um uh, that actual backup test to see if all the files are there Right. So how would you do that? So walk me through how you would set that up. Um, how would you set up, you know, uh, a couple of users on 20 boxes? What would you use? Would you use a bash script? Would you use Perl? Would you use Ansible? Any one of those? Tell me how you would do it. Walk me through setting that up. So I'm trying to get people to understand when you're sitting on the phone and you're doing interviews and people are asking you these questions, they're looking for that. They're looking for you know, are you firing on all cylinders? Can you get this? Can you get that? And I am the person that that learned that way. So I'm teaching that way because I know how people can be. Right. Uh, but the last but not least, the actual the actual third thing is, is every year, and I said this on my show before, every year you need to gain a skill. Mm. And every skill, every time you gain a skill, you should be getting paid more money. And every time you get paid more money, add an asset to your life. Break that down for me. So if I get, if I started out with Linux and I go add Ansible, I should be looking for a job that's going to require my Linux and my Ansible, Ansible's, a Ansible skills and whatever soft skills I come along with that. Which means I need to be also getting paid more money. Thanks. So when I get paid more money, nine times out of 10, I'm probably going to get a sign-on bonus or I'm going to get an increase in pay. When I get my sign-on bonus, don't go pay Don't go pay your bills off. Don't go pay your bills off. You can still pay on them over time. Take that lump sum that you get and go buy an asset. I don't care if it's land. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you go put it into a CD, a bond, a DCA your way into a stock, something. Go have that money. Make some money for you. Mm -hmm. Right. So just to run it, just to run it back, got to have confidence uh, yep. as far as the job description. See if you can actually link in with somebody that works there just to see if you're a good cultural fit, to just see if you would even like it, if you're even a just good spot. Talk, just to see if they like it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> see if yeah. they like it. See what the day to day is. See what what your what is just the job job description actually fit with what what you're what you're what they're saying right and you can you can do your own snooping with Twitter and LinkedIn and even and this is a um, I actually got four here's the other All thing right, where, where you where you really learn this stuff at where you really thrive is what what I don't see is we don't show up at at conferences okay show up to the com not just don't just go to Afrotech. Go to, all of them. go to all of them go mm -hmm. go to the open source conference go to the the devops days go to go to the aws conference go to the azure conference go to the github uni universe conference go to all the conferences network put yourself out there right you are you <laughs> you you, <laughs> you you look all this aside you are a business Thanks. You as yourself, you are a business. If you're not looking at yourself as a business, then what what we're talking about? You are a business. So when I'm looking at you, I have a problem, right? And I need a problem solved. So I need for you to be the solution. Mm. So I'm looking at you to help me come up with the solution to solve this problem. That's how I look at, at job wrecks. Oh, y'all got a problem that y'all need to solve. 
okay, well, I'm gonna be the solution, right? And I don't, and I don't necessarily have to go with what you're talking about because you actually reached out to me. So y'all have a problem. And here I'm I'm coming in to tell you, well, here's some options that you have as a solution. Because apparently you couldn't get it done. Mm. So that's how I look at myself. And then I look at myself as a business because then I'm saying, okay, well, I'm coming in and I'm building, I'm helping you build yourself, but what am I getting in return? Oh, I'm getting a check, right? Okay, well, do you offer anything else? Are you offering to pay for school? Are you offering to pay for my, for me to go get more training? Um, I need to continue to build my business. So wow. I, in, in that business that I'm building, continue to build, I need to have resources. Those resources come from that job. So I need to continue to build skills. I need access to things. So that's why I say you got to 